It's been some time since we've joined Rian Rodemeyer on one of his excursions. Rian is already known by many in the Western Cape area, as his passion is taking anglers out and getting them stuck into some nice fish. Rian's main focus is normally on edible fish, which is in the interest of most anglers out there. So uh, yeah, it's been a while, so uh, welcome back to, to Makassa Beach. Um, Tyron's going to join us today, we're going to see if we can get a couple of chalice for you, maybe a couple of cod. Um, I've got two clients with me as well, Francois and Rouen. So uh, yeah, conditions today, it's, it's a bit clean, as you can see, it's a bit flat, with a bit of roll at the moment. I'm just concerned with low tide, it's going to flatten out a bit. Uh, a bit clean also, so we've got a bit of worm bait, some white muscle red bait, and of course sardine. So uh, yeah, main species today are going to be uh, Falun. Cob, maybe a bellman and blacktail and a, a, a white stump, there's two white stump around also. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. It, uh, I think it should be a good day. Falls Bay is such a diverse area, offering a variety of species and quite often producing catches which we didn't even expect. Uh, so we're getting a few, a few good pools, this year, probably 10 meters out. So it's just a little hole here that's washed open with a bit of white water just rolling very, very nicely over the hole. So uh, yeah, we had a couple of pools. So I'm going to continue with the red bait on a pure adrenaline circle. Make it slightly thinner and a bit longer. Maybe the fish will commit better on it. So yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to take a few snaps and then uh, yeah, get it back to the water as soon as possible. That was on the red bait in the 2 circle. And um, I felt a little bump, just a little bump, so I shook the rod a bit and then uh, he came back and he committed on the bait. Getting the first three cars with a couple of decent pulls, actually two in bites. We picked the, bite, uh, the bait up and swam in with us, and then one flat box. And we missed the hooks unfortunately on, on all three occasions, but it's very, very close in. So, um, yeah, the fish was actually very, very close in. So, as the tide's dropping now, it's getting a bit shallow. So, we just found a little hole a bit deeper out, and we got a small khali now. So, um, yeah, as long as the water's rolling, yeah, we should be in the game. See what happens. Eh? Going to Makassa Beach. It is important to know that it's not necessarily the safest area and even though you can drive on that stretch as 
there's a cobblestone road that's been stipulated and marked on maps that allows you to drive the few kilometers on Makassar Beach. It's also important to have a few anglers together for safety purposes. Where Rion's fishing today is at the western entrance of Makassar Beach. Now for most of you who would remember Buta, it is always amazing to see the passion and the excitement when he is fighting fish. Buta spends a lot of time behind a rod on the beaches, might be freshwater or saltwater. Be sure to see a lot more of Buta going forward, as he is our youngest ambassador. Today we're going to 
just start fishing on a strong pushing tide. Uh, I've got Neil here with me. It's all free, but, man. Yeah. yeah. So, with the southerlies picking up now, the water's going to be nice and lively. So, we're going to start targeting Gallis and maybe the Pustin is on a strong push also. So, um, yeah, if you pay into the piece of water behind you here, yeah. you'll see it's a massive hole right in the, in the shallows. These white stones mean it's been opened up for the first time probably a year plus. Black muscle beds. So, yeah, on the pushing tide, this hole will definitely be sufficient. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Eh? We're gonna uh, cast out as far as possible, see if we can find a little rock in the reef, and then uh, yeah, see if we can get a pool. So. So we, uh, at the moment we're casting into a very stiff southerly breeze right from the front. So we need to get a, quite a lot of distance while it's still low tide. So I'm just going to throw a smaller, slightly smaller and finer red bait, bait just to get us into that wind, into the breeze. Uh, the first cast made a really nice pull. So yeah, maybe on the second and third cast we'll connect with the fish. Let's see what happens. side of the hole but it's just sand so I'm not feeling any reef so uh, I'm gonna wind in and put a bit more to the center of the hole and see if we can find some more reef there the tide's gonna start pushing heavy now so probably the next hour we'll be able to catch fish probably like 30 meters away from us okay so uh, yeah so far I think this is our fourth cast now um, we had two pools, small pools, and then uh, Tay's got two young fish as well. But it's still probably about three or no, four hours before high. So just like a waiting game for the tide to start pushing in. Uh, when the tide starts coming in, um, when the tide starts coming in, the changes completely. The behavior, it's going to start feeding, it's going to be very, very close. I mean, you know, you've seen all the, all the rocks that's been exposed and opened up, so there's got to be fish that come through later on. So uh, yeah, give another hour or so, see what happens. But uh, yeah. I'm feeling fairly confident about today's session. Let's hope now. And this young man, also called Buta, got his first fish on a worm. And unfortunately it got stuck. But Rian, applying some patience, managed to get it out. Shortly after, Zalmri hooked onto the second fish and did it all by herself. Right after that, her father joined into the fun, catching the third Khali for the day. And it wasn't long after that, and Zalmiri got her second fish for the day. Okay, so yeah, finally, as we were hoping, the fish came into this hole. It was dead. Like, I think in the first three and a half hours, we had. I think we had two bites <laughs> and now we had like I think we had five or six fish now like in 15 20 minutes so yeah we lost a really nice one now um, on a small piece of bloodworm so yeah it's looking good there's another hour or so left of the session uh, here we go oh, <laughs> yeah, nerves. so uh, yeah let's see what happens eh? Two ounces 
Kijk wat ik aan het bouwen vind, dat is toch zo goed. So I'm just making a couple of throws on the reef itself and see maybe if the gully's not feeding on the reef with a full high tide. They have to be somewhere, so yeah. Thank you for watching ASFN and joining in the fun from Falls Bay. Please subscribe to our channel and make sure you like this video as that helps our algorithms. If ever you have any suggestions for more videos you would like to see, please leave it in the comments. Take that bike catch on the day like this anytime, so yeah. <laughs> Big. 